Yeah, hi. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your very late night, almost early morning, NXT review. Um, I missed like most of the show because I was like out, and um, I'll be again by just the results. It's not really interesting. So next week is New Year's Evil. Evil, like, like has mermaid man says. Um, the, I don't know. This is kind of the AEW factor. Like that's like it's the same show with AEW where you don't give a shut fuck much about the regular show when only when they do like a sort of pay per view style show. You know, that's a problem. I believe in wrestling where you don't when you do that many times. You tend to not give a fuck about the show. So that's a problem. Okay? Anyways, uh, grab your Coca Cola, drink it with Magnusia. It's about to make some bitches go, oh shit, oh shit, there people. Oh shit, oh shit, cheers. Tastes good, man. It's good stuff. But yeah, this show. You know what the fuck was given? It's just a bunch of nonsense. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm i just like, yeah. <clears throat> you, all I have to really say is just there's not much to fucking say. NXT is basically back to irrelevancy, really. Oh, it's always been irrelevant. It's, just, it's really just the same thing, you know? There's like it's been the same thing any time, but just oh, but it's because Vince McMahon's involved and it's colorful, you know. Whatever. So the last NXT of 2021 kicks off with Odyssey. Jo oh, so basically this is the last show of 2021, kind of. I mean, not really. It's the fucking. Smackdown, but apparently Smackdown's not even good. Nothing's gonna happen, but whatever. The last NXT of 2021 starts with Odyssey Jones versus Grayson Waller. Again, no one knows who the fuck gives a shit about Jason Waller. He's just a guy that, oh, he did one heel thing, and we're supposed to be taking care of it, even though no one gives a fuck about Johnny Gay Garn unless you're a fucking fag that likes indie shit, but whatever. Grayson Waller defeats. Odyssey Jones, who I believe is a giant black guy, like, and he's supposed to be like Mark Henry looking, and for some reason he loses, it makes no fucking sense, but I get it, you have to have this guy, like, make look and look good or whatever, but why are you having him be, beat a guy who he realistically can't really beat, whatever. After match, AJ Styles appears on the Titan Tron and s issues a challenge for Grayson Wall to face him in next week's NXT New Year's Evil. So I guess they're trying. I don't know. Some people say this is ratings wise. This is for ratings. But really, what does AJ Styles have in terms of ratings wise? Like, I like Styles. I don't mind him. It's just, again, like, I think, like, he is so overrated by Smarks. He's not terrible, but it's, it's like, to act like he's so great, it's, it's retarded. But, like, act really, like, um, AJ Styles. He's not a rating straw as people think he is, and apparently, like, but the possible reason why they're doing this is because of like they lack talent currently because apparently the because of COVID. But doesn't this put him at risk of COVID when he's supposed to be on the main roster? Like, I don't know. It makes no sense. It really makes no sense. Like people think this is great. They just talk about an NXT run. Why? So you're basically like you're trying. You want him to have a minor league run. That's if anything, that's retarded and more retarded than the fucking idea of him teaming with Almas. Because at least he'll be in the main roster. This is like going back to the minor leagues. This is retarded. Whatever. This is like saying fucking Edge is going back to fucking NXT. Like it makes no sense, people. Right? Why doesn't it make sense? Apparently, with AJ Styles. And wouldn't this make him look weak? Like him possibly losing to Grayson Waller, you know? Because will they really have this guy win against fucking Styles? I mean, lose against Styles? 
Like, it, it, I don't know. Like, I just think that it's retarded. I don't even give a shit about Grayson Waller. So I'd rather just have Styles win, but whatever. Imperium versus Riddle and MSK. Uh, another thing, uh, another wrestler. Apparently, Riddle is a range draw for some reason. He's on NXT, and they are gonna chat. They're gonna face Imperium. So, M so R Riddle's gonna team up with M this team called MSK. They're gonna face Imperium next week on New Year's Eve. <sighs> Harlan Sanders, I think that's his name, defeated Andre Chase. After the match, Harlan attacks one of Chase's students and kidnaps him. I guess he's gonna. Uh, Indulge on one of the dudes. I don't know. Apparently that's his character. Tiffany Stratton defeated Fallen Henley. I think Tiffany isn't Tiffany. Okay, so basically this is a new character that she's a daddy's girl. Apparently that got problem that got uh, controversial to fa to people. Apparently Smarks thought this was controversial, like, oh, she's daddy's girl? That's so subjective or something. I don't fucking know. I don't care. All I have to say that this, this chick looks looks plasticky. I'm sorry. She's not very ugly. She's not ugly. Listen, I'm not saying, like, this chick is ugly, but the reality is she looks plasticky. You can tell she looks plasticky, and I'm not really a big fan of plasticky looking chicks. I'll be honest with you. She kind of look like, look at Carmella. She was, like, naturally, like, not bad looking, but then she becomes more, like, plasticky. If you look at her face now, I'm telling you, like, it's not cool. No, I'm, I don't like, I don't like that shit, so. It ain't really fuckable. You, you, if you rail, you, you fuckable and be like, gosh, you ain't, get out, yo, plasticky bitch, get out of my, get out of the fucking couch. No plastics allowed in my couch, right? But to save the environment. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Roger Strong and Carmelo Hayes have a contract signing. Then the Creed Brothers attack some guy named Trick Williams, I think. I don't know. And then puts him through a table. I don't know. Some contract signing thing. Contract. I mean, just don't know. Contract signing is a wrestling thing, right? It would make sense if there's a re... Again, let me fucking say this about contract signings. It should be a thing where the heel is reluctant to have a match. But aren't they both heels, by the way? Like, it makes no sense. But whatever. Sola Sakaya, aka one of the Usos, uh, defeated Santos Escobar. I don't even know who Santos Escobar is, but I don't care, so. Von Wagner defeats Malik Blade. Why should I give a fuck about Von Wagner when he lost, like, a jobber or something? Either this is the same guy. And again, like, what's his care? But whatever, I don't give a fuck. If anything, wouldn't it make sense if Von Wagner versus maybe AJ Styles? If Von Wagner was the guy to attack Johnny Gagano if you're trying to make him a big star? Just saying. <sighs> um, Raquel Gonzalez and Cora Jade defeat Io Shirai and Kaylee Ray. Apparently... Whoever wins this tag match will face Manny Rose. So apparently, they put their. Sh so, you're basically doing this thing where, like, we already know who's gonna win. Well, you're gonna try to swerve us. So, if you try to swerve us, then that means there's the build to the match makes no sense. I don't fucking know or care. After the match, Manny Rose shows up on the Time Tron and tells them that their selfish desires will be the downfall. At NXT New Year's Evil, and that's how they ended the show. So there was no Tommaso Ciampa and um, Bronson, uh, not Bronson. Fuck it, uh, fuck that guy, that Bronson Reed. Fuck um, Braun Breaker. Everybody's a Braun. Uh, yeah, there's no Braun Breaker. So what was the? So what are you gonna do for the title match? And apparently, yeah, this is probably because of COVID, but like. How the fuck did they have a co- I don't fucking know. I don't know. This is- Obviously- uh, You wanna blame who the fuck with COVID? Blame China. Man, fucking idiots. Um... Or the government. Not Chinese people, okay? Or Asian descent. But... The reality is, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, fucking Zia Lee. <laughs> Just, uh, 
was or Mboa, whatever the fuck, or Mia Yim, or whatever the fuck that that their manager is that's supposed to be Undertaker. Like fuck you. Um, what's the yeah freaking why is the Diva Shim main event? I get it, like, but come on. I mean, if you have the women may event, have, have her do some hot shit. Why is the man who's doing hot? I mean, she's looking, you know, hot or whatever, but I don't know. Try to do some hot shit. Come on, you want to gender? If you want real ratings, you fucking have better do some hot shit with women, okay? Not plasticky bitches and not she hulks, okay? Straight up. I'm just keeping real motherfuckers. So that was the last NXT of 2021, and who really cares, okay? This is just a bunch of nonsense. I'm just keeping real motherfuckers. New Year's Eve was next week. Uh, drink a cold magnesium, find me some bitches, go, oh shit, oh shit, especially on New Year's. Till next time, peace. Goodbye. Yeah,